So certainly um, looking at it from the medical oncology perspective, it gives us a lot broader um, ability to meet the needs of patients. So um, we're planning on developing a research or clinical trials program here, which uh, will provide additional options for patients that have not uh, been successful with conventional chemotherapy or immunotherapy. Um, and it also, um, by developing a pharma or uh, trials with uh, pharmaceutical companies, allow patients to get access to drugs that they wouldn't be able to if they weren't on a clinical trial. Um, we will also be able to um, do some additional radiation oncology uh, procedures we'll be looking at, um, expanding uh, sort of conventional radiation with um, some other alternatives. And I think more than anything else, though, what it allows us to do is to provide comprehensive care. So having all the services that a patient could need all under one roof and having physicians, uh, whether it's medical oncologists, surgeons, radiation oncologists, all working together as a team to provide the support that patients need. Um, plus having all the uh, ancillary services, dietitians, social workers, financial counselors, all working together for the needs of the patients. So obviously this is going to directly impact the community, but what do you anticipate the reach is going to be for the, the center as far as the region? Well, certainly our, our market is in a six county area, but by offering trials, we do think we will get patients from outside of that area as well. Um, the biggest impact, though, will be to patients in the six county area. So they won't need to go to Madison or Iowa City or uh, Rochester, Minnesota, or anywhere else to get some of these services that uh, are not always present in most of the community of cancer centers. So once the, the center is open and able to accept people, uh, is there any sort of a capacity as far as people, the number of people that you would hope to, to serve through that program? Uh, um, I don't think there's an upper level capacity. We would staff up it. We will certainly have a, uh, an excess of capacity to start with for uh, um, both chemotherapy and immunotherapy infusions. Uh, we're expanding the number of chairs uh, and infusion rooms that we have. And we are building uh, for growth in the radiation oncology area as well.